Hi guys, it's Case by Case channel. Today, I am not Tower Club Part 2-1 test. I am so happy for giving you good information. By the way, I'm sorry to late upload. I was so busy these days for my business and there's no time to test and to editing the video. Anyway, let's move on to the Tower Club Test 2-1 test. This video will show the progress and result of the tower cooler part 2-1. The spec of the computer used in the test are live on the left side. And this time, I conduct tower cooler part 2-1 test, which I just mentioned. If you haven't seen the previous videos, AIO water cooler test or tower cooler part 1 and also you want to see them again click the link above there is something to mention about this test and the next one I was planned the part 2 test to mount the tower crawl upward only but I was think that the test mounted upwards was also necessary so part 2 was divided into two parts Part 2-1 and Part 2-2 Tower cooler Part 2-1 was conditioned where the tower cooler was mounted as a direction of blowing upward and as you can see when I tested with 9 different pen settings I want to find out which setting works the best Firstly, I am setting up the computer for testing the summer grid used for the test, I bought GD900 from the AliExpress. It was cheap but high performance and a large quantity. To do this, I removed to use the summer grid and reapplied it after removing the cooler and the cooler was mounted in the direction of blowing upward and the test was doing without front glass panel. At the time of testing, the room temperature was 24.5 degrees. As you can see, the first test was setting number 1. All 6 cooling fans are mounted in the intake direction. I was using ADA64 for the test program and I used hardware monitor to measure the CPU and GPU temperatures. All of the tests, the 6 fans were set to do maximum speed mode. The test was progressing about 10 minutes and they recorded the highest CPU and GPU in 10 minutes. The same test was performed for the remaining 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. The test took more than half an hour in each case, so totally it took about 5 hours. But I will show you in 5 minutes by editing. All the tests are finished. Now let's look at the result. In this test, the tower cooler was mounted in the direction of exhausting upward and setting up 9 different combination of cooling fans as you can see from setting 1 to 9. Among them, the best condition was number 8. Wow! And they show 74 degrees of CPU and 70 degrees of GPU. I think the reason for the best result of number 8 is because the cool air from the top of the case was supplied directly to the CPU cooler. The worst condition was number 2 and they show 82 degrees of CPU and 69 degrees of GPU. The reason why number 2 is a high CPU temperature is because the heat generated from the GPU caused the internal air which is already hot to be exhausted and fast through the tower cooler. Finally, tower cooler part 2-1 test was finished. Upcoming video is tower cooler part 2-2. I plan to carry out 9 tests by installing the tower cooler on the direction of exhausting downward. It is still a lot of parts and comprehensive conclusions. If you want to know about more the result of tower cooler part 2-2 and the rest of the video, please subscribe, like, and click the notification bell. Also, please leave comments. Thank you for watching my video. Bye.